Hello and welcome. Today I'm bringing you another tutorial using GitX and Flutter. Today we'll see how we can fetch data via internet. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and liking this video. So further ado, let's get started. We'll be using two packages to fetch data from the internet, HTTP and GetX packages. First, we'll copy all this and paste it in PubSpec YAML. By doing that, we can integrate packages inside our project. Then we rerun the application. And meanwhile, I'm going to clear out all this data and we'll create our folder structure. We'll be having three main folders called controller, screens, and models. First, we'll create our controller dot dot and inside that we'll call in class controller the name of the controller extends get x controllers then we'll create our home dot dot page Inside the home page, we'll be having a scaffold. We'll get back to the main page and remove all this default coding and call in our home page over here. After doing that, what we have to do next is implementing KEDEX on this project. To do that, we are creating controller binding dot. Using get.put, we are calling in our controller. Then we head back to main and change to get material app and import the dependencies. And we have this initial binding, and inside that, we are calling controller bindings. And now we have added GEX into our project. Next, I'll be using JSON for placeholder website to get those data we need to show here. So here, JSON placeholder data. We can, if you scroll down, we can see albums. Inside albums, we can find all these data. And it has album ID, ID, title, URL, thumbnail. So what we have to do next is create our model according to that data. So let's create a file album model dot dot inside here we will be adding the uh, model values so we have admin id id as integers and everything else as strings so here we'll be adding string title string url and string thumbnail I'm going to copy it from here and other two ID and the album as integers.
and then we need to create the constructor for these. And now let's add all these variables as required so it will not be now. After this, we're gonna make a factory call to read out and extract those data into the variables from the JSON format that is it's being read. This error is occurring because we are not returning any factory type uh, data output. So we'll make it call our album model and inside that we'll be calling in JSON the name of the variable, uh, variable we are sending in inside the parameter. This will be the data that is being read by the URL or the HTTP or the patch. Now that's done, we'll create our front UI. Let's add a column over here and some text widgets. And inside that, we'll be displaying all the data. As you can see, the texts are not in the center. So let's bring the text to the center. So we'll be adding main axis alignment to center. And wrapping it up in a center widget. We'll remove this one to show our image thumbnail. Now we'll show these following data in our app. To do that, let's head over to the controller dot dot. Here I'll be creating a list from the album model. Then I'm adding another boolean uh, variable to check if the data is loading or not. I will initialize it as true because initially when the app is running, the data is not loaded. It should be loaded or read or fetched from the website. Let's create the method to call in data. Now let's create a HTTP request to get the data 
from that URL. From the HTTP request, we'll be getting a response. From that, we are, I'll be checking the status of the response. You need to add the URL here. So we'll go to the website and get that copy the URL. So I'm gonna put one. So it'll show me the one da data. Now we check the status code and see if it's 200 that means response is okay so then we write what need to be done here so here we'll be assigning the data into the data model factory from json so that'll do the data signing and adding it to the the photo list So as the source, we'll be sending response top body. This will create an album model with the data and then we can add it to the list. After data is loaded, we need to show data. So in this case, loading is done. So we are making it true. If the data is not loaded or some error comes in other than 200, I'll be showing a snack bar with the error. Now let's create an instance of controller. Now let's show the red data on the screen. We'll be calling in the photo list and we'll be getting it as the zeroth index. And inside that, uh, we'll be taking the album ID. Error comes because the data is not there in the photo list. To do that, we, can, we have to call on init state and inside that we'll be calling the fetch data method what happens is when the control is initiated only method runs and inside the method we have our fetch data method 
So when that runs, our photos will be get populated with data and we'll be able to show them without any of these issues. So now I'm going to hot reload. As you can see, even though the data loads, it does not automatically refresh the page. To do that, we'll call in OBX. Before that, let's add all the data here. And the image will be shown using image.network because we are using a URL. So now let us add the OBX method. Now let's check if the data is loaded, else if it is not loaded, we'll show a circular progress indicator, else we'll be showing the data. As you can see, app fetches the data and displays on the screen. So I hope you learned something today. Please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. I'll try my best to release one video every two weeks and thank you all the subscribers and all of you who's watching this. Till next, take care.